God, my name is Mary, I love Jesus, he's my personal savior. Before we start, let us start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this moment. Thank you for this time you have allowed us to study your word. We pray for your Holy Spirit to come and take control so that we may understand the word today. We may know what you want us to know. We may apply your word and we may grow in you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Welcome to today's lesson. We are going to learn about the story of Joseph and his coat of many colors. And we are going to read from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, from verse 1 to 4. Let us read. Now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. This is the history of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpha, his father's wife. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to his father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that, their father loved him more than all his brothers. They hated him and could not speak peaceably with him. As we have heard from the word of God that Joseph was Jacob's son. And Jacob had 12 sons. And of, of all his children, he loved, Jacob, he loved Joseph more than his other sons. And the Bible is telling us that he loved Joseph because he was the son of his old age, and he was the son of Rachel. We have heard that Joseph was, he was, let's read verse 2. This is the history of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. How, now we have seen there that ja Joseph was obedient. He was feeding the flock with his brothers. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpha, his father's wife. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to his, to his father. So Joseph was not happy about the bad things that his brothers were doing. And that's why he reported them. And we have heard that Joseph loved Joseph more than his other sons. That tells us that Joseph was obedient. Joseph was faithful. He was a good boy. And that's why, he, he, that's why his father even gave him a gift of coat of many colors. As we can see, my coat here, I had a little coat here, many colors. I colored with it with many colors. And that's a gift that Jacob gave Joseph. It was a mark of his favor because of the way he loved him. And now the brothers, when they saw that their father loved Joseph more than them, they hated him. They felt jealousy and they could not speak peacefully with Joseph. And that one, they hated Joseph. And as we can see that they didn't do the right thing. They, when you hate one another, you are not obeying God. Because God is rough, he has commanded us to love one another. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Let's sing together. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. It is the, it is the will of God that we love one another. When we love one another, we please God. When we love one another, we will make them to be happy. There are things that you can do that can make you to be loved. Like which one? When you are obedient, you will be loved. When you are kind, you will be loved. When you obey your parents, you don't fight others, you don't abuse others, uh, you will be loved. So let's do the things that will make us to be loved. Sikira mtu anapenda kupendwa, ata mina penda kupendwa. So do the things that will make others to be happy. Si tunaimbanga Sunday school, the time to be happy is now, and the place to be happy is here. 
And the way to be happy is to make someone happy and to make Kari throw heaven down here. When we ra- when we make others happy, we will also be happy. God will be happy with us. He will bless us with many blessings like those of the ca- the many colors of the coat of Joseph. And we have no need to envy others. We have no need to hate others because they are blessed more than we are blessed. We should learn to appreciate the good in others so that also we can also be appreciated. When somebody is good in class, don't envy them. Just congratulate them. And in, in your own way, if you are good in singing, you would like also to be appreciated. When you see somebody is good in something, and you appreciate them, you make them feel happy, you will also be happy when you make others happy. For example, in our school there was this girl that was not being punished every time. She was hardworking and his fr- her friends thought that one day they will make her to be punished as they have been punished. So, wakaficha kitabu yake, na walikuwa naanza na hesabu the following day wakaleta kitabu wakati mwalimu ameingia ndio wakatoa kitabu sasa mwalimu akaona akamuuliza kwa nini hujamaliza so and so kwa nini hujamaliza homework akasema i my book got lost i've just found it and she explained why she did not do the homework she was not punished because mwalimu alikuwa anajua she is a honest girl and the other friends they were not happy because she was not punished unaona walikuwa na vivu walikuwa nataka pia yeye apanishwe vile wanapanishiwa but that one is not good so we should not envy our friends instead what they are go- doing so that they may be loved we should also do the same instead of feeling jealous like these friends of that girl they wanted her punished as they are punished so we should not be have envy in our hearts we should not hate others because the word of god in second in first john let us read first john chapter 2 verse 11 the bible is telling us but he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and he does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes You see children the bible is telling us that when we hate one another we are walking in darkness and we don't know where we are going so we should not walk in darkness how many hate rough darkness no we ra- we want to be where there is light instead of walking in darkness and the bible is telling us they don't know where they are going imagine being in the darkness and you don't know where you are going that is how when you hate one another that the, that is the example the bible is telling us is giving us of walking in hatred so we should not hate others when you feel like it is very easy when somebody looks you bad you look them bad maybe you see they hate you you also hate them but you should pray and tell god to help you so that you will not do what the others are doing if they are doing the bad thing don't do them if they abuse the others don't abuse them because they have abused you it is very safe mhm kujiripisha kisasi unasema huyu amenitukana hata mimi nitamtukana huyu amenichapa hata mimi nitamgonga so we remember you will do things that please god even if they hate you even if they abuse you don't abuse them back trust god that in your heart he will feed you with the, the rough that he feed joseph with the rough although his brothers hated him he did not hate them back he just he could even tell them other things like we will see later that he kept telling he kept speaking to them peacefully although they spoke to him with hatred he still loved his brothers he was obedient he was a good boy so children if you want to be loved we have said that you should be good boy and girl you should be obedient you should do the things that please god you should do others the way you'd like them to do to you you should love others to make a retro heaven down here why the things that will be in heaven they are good things they are things that will make us happy so 
if you want to create a little heaven down here, what do we do? We make others happy. That is the way to be happy, by making others happy. And when we want to create hell, yeah, we hate one another, we have envy, we might end up killing them the way Cain killed his brother. He killed his brother because of jealousy. Do you remember the story? When Cain and Abel, they gave the sacrifice. Abel's sacrifice was accepted and because he did the right thing. Cain's sacrifice was not accepted because he did not do the right thing. Then he felt jealousy for Abel because his sacrifice was accepted. What followed? He killed his brother because of he killed his brother because of jealousy. So we should not hate one another, we should not have jealousy so that we don't fall into sins. You see, God hates sin and sin separates us from God. We have been saying this poem that God is holy, God loves people, God hates sin, God we say that God loves people and God hates sin. What does sin do? Sin separates us from God. And sin, they bring shame. When we, the brothers of Joseph, they, when they did the bad things to Joseph, they, they will be ashamed. They will be guilty. So sin brings shame and sin brings death. You see like that, the story of Cain, it brought death to his brother, and when he killed his brother, he was not happy. So when you do things to others, when we do good things to others, we make them happy, we will also be happy with what we have done. So children, from today's story, let us chase away from our hearts the hatred and envy. I'll sing for you the song that we used to sing in Sunday school, and it is in Kikuyu. It is, goes like this. To sharie, to igate, koko iria izo kagia megoda, juko marakara na mweteo, sitige goikara goro ineshito. That song is saying that we should chase the things from our hearts that make us not to be the way God wants us to be. We chase the hatred away, we chase the jealousy away. So for our lesson today, we are not going to allow envy to stay in our heart. That is jealousy. We are not going to allow hatred to stay in our hearts. But what are we going to allow to be in our hearts? The love of God. Because the Bible tells us that God is love. And that one will be reminded by the many colors. You remember the story of Noah? And the rainbow, when we see the rainbow, it is, has many colors. And when we see the rainbow, we see the love of God. So when we see the many colors, those are the many blessings of God that, has, that God has for us. So Joseph was given that coat because he was loved by his father. We are also loved by God. And God has many blessings, enough for every one of us. So don't, be, don't feel jealousy. Don't hate one another because they, you, they seem to be good in one area than you. That is why the CBC is here. We, are, we, we can excel in our own way. Si tunafanya CBC, shudani. That is why we should excel in the areas that God has blessed us without fearing envy for others. So learn to appreciate one another. Learn to love one another, even those who don't seem to love you, just love them. And God is going to bless you. What have we learned today, children? We have learned that we should not love, hate one another. We should not feel jealousy for one another. Instead, we should love them. We have learned the story of Joseph and his coat of many colors. And we have learned that Jacob had 12 sons and he loved Joseph more than his other brothers. And when the brothers saw that Joseph was loved by their father, they hated him. And when he was given the coat of many colors, instead of them doing what was right so that they can also be given the, their coat, they, they, they felt jealousy for Joseph. So for us today, we are not going to fear jealousy. We are not going to hate one another. We are going to trust God that he will fill our hearts with love. 
So children, I'm going to add our lesson with some question and I hope you are going to answer. How Joseph father was called who? Joseph father was called Uh-huh. Jacob had how many sons? Yes. Uh-huh. So Joseph had how many brothers? Why was Joseph loved? Uh-huh. I can hear you answering correctly. He was loved because he was good, he was obedient, he was kind. All those things, all those good things. He loved his brothers although they hated him. He loved them and he trusted God. He did the things that were pleasing and God was with him. Before we end our lessons, I'm going to give you homework and I want you to go and draw the coat. You draw a better coat than mine. You color it with many colors. You can either paint it. You, I know you have the watercolors, the CBC. I know those are things that are common. Crayons, watercolors. You draw the coat. You hang it in your bedroom or in the sitting room. And when you look at it, you remember the many blessings that God have, has for us. And we need to be good boys and girls. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you for the way you have been with us during this lesson. Thank you. You have taught us to fill our hearts with your love. Remove the hatred and envy in our hearts and help us that we are going to appreciate others and we are going to praise you and you are going to bless us with many blessings like the many colors in the courts of Joseph. In Jesus' name we pray. So children, for today, God bless you. Till next time, bye-bye.